guys, it's Pixie and it is time for our very first 2015 festive video for Christmas time. I am so excited. I have a large-ish number of videos planned that are holiday related um, and I've been super super nasty sick today but it's like 7 o'clock in the evening. I just <laughs> got out of my pajamas because it's time for the festiveness to start. No holding back. Full horse full horse ahead. Don't hold your horses full speed ahead. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. So today is the very first Pixie Locks Christmas gift guide. I came on to say 2015, just like 2015. Um, I actually feel like I'm half on top of my shit this year. It is December 11th. I have pretty much everyone bought for. Everyone on my list has at least one thing if not like there are multiple bits of things that create the Christmas package so I figured hey it's a miracle I'm not like crying in a heap of sadness with stress due to Christmas so let's document it with a video and see if we can help anyone else who has no idea what they're doing like I usually don't most of this stuff is handmade or altered or self put together sort of thing um, so it is budget friendly. I kind of feel bad being like, here's stuff you can get for the people in your lives that you love that cost you nothing. Because it's like, I love them and I want to spend money on them, but at the same time I have no money and I'm saving the money I do have. So like, I love you, but money. So don't need to worry about this. It's thoughtful. It's fun. You don't have to tell them that you got the idea from a YouTube video. That's fine. Leave that out. So this first thing is really, really easy. It's something that takes a lot of time and you can put as much thought into it as you want, but if you just kind of take it easy, no one's gonna hate you for it. It is a mix CD. Um, I made my best friend, John, love you, John, you better not fucking watch this, you nerd, um, a mix CD. Uh, John is always into music. Music is his whole friggin' life he's a really good musician actually we play in a band together and he's always sharing music and like links to facebook and giving me cds and stuff so i thought it would be really cool and i knew he would really be into this sort of thing and the main thing that makes this like fun <laughs> as a gift um is the write-up so i here i wrote down each track number, the year it came out, because I'm a huge dork, and wrote an explanation of why I picked it, why it's good. Um, one of them just says FUNKY in all caps, and then some of them are like, this helped me from not dying. So, you know, it just it's a happy little piece of myself that, like, you're sharing. Cause some people will be like, stop sending me your shitty music, I don't care about freaking My Chemical Romance. And then some people will be like, so you just be careful. Be careful who you give your heart to on a CD. Part of my gift for my boyfriend um, of two years now, over two years, I decided to make a zine. If you don't know what a zine is, it's basically kind of like an independent mini magazine. They started in like the 70s, I'm pretty sure. It's really hard to describe. Look it up. But I made a zine about our relationship and our love together, kind of like a scrapbook in this case. It says love zine, because I couldn't think of another thing. Merry Christmas, blah, blah, blah. There's clips of videos we did together, which are no longer on YouTube because copyright. There's texts of basically me being an asshole and then sending him the like Shiba Inu stickers. Lots of fun stuff. So, you know, it's thoughtful, it's fun, it's artsy, it's something that they can keep and it's something that even though it doesn't cost a lot, like it takes a lot of Kokoro. My dad is ridiculously hard to buy for. Um, he does computer science and he likes pens. He's basically a big nerd. Um, and I am like 99.9% .9 just this man, but in a teenage girl's body. So I painted him a painting 
Um, it's not like the best painting I've ever done. Uh, he loves his Jeep. He's a big Jeep man. Before he had this red Jeep, this red Wrangler bedangler. He had a black one and he has like, he had, fuck, he like 3D prints little like bumper things to fucking stick on his, I love my dad. He's just such a big nerd. So um, he babies the heck out of this Jeep and he loves going for drives and stuff. So I did like a wintry scenic painting. I know it's a little bit lumpy. I'm a 17 year old art student. Please leave me alone. But I don't know. It's the sort of thing where like, I feel like my dad's not gonna be like, you got the proportions wrong. So painting. This one might not be totally viable for everyone if you like don't have access to paints or a canvas or you're just like not the painty type, but anyone can paint if you want to. Don't you dare tell me you can't draw or anything. For my mom, I got a couple of things and I'm gonna pick up some more because I fucking love my mom and she's so easy to shop for because she's like, she's so passionate about so many things. Mostly cats. I got her this mug. This is from HomeSense. Our HomeSense just opened like a month or two ago and oh my god it's been a wild ride so this mug says i'm a cat lover and the inside is pink polka dot which is the most perfect thing for my mother ever we have way too many coffee mugs but it doesn't matter and i also got her this little wooden cat brooch from paper cakes pretty which is where i work currently and i love it there um if you follow me on facebook or instagram you know i've been posting like just every time I have a shift, I'm like, come buy things, just because I love that job. It's just really cute and simple and classic, and it's a cat, so, you know, brooches, jewelry, always works. And I wanted to make some things for my friends who live in other countries, namely America. That was, like, the most awkward way to introduce as possible. I really wanted to send my internet blogger friends Kate and Kat some things. I've never met them, which makes me really sad, but Kat has been so incredibly welcoming to me ever since I started YouTube, and she just made me feel like I'm not like a young little freak who doesn't belong, which is awesome. And Kate is just like the biggest sweetheart you will ever talk to, so I really wanted to give them something because I love them. So I made them little paintings. Again, with the painting, I'm not the best painter, but this one is Kat and it says hello baddie. And this one is Kate and it says Kate is cute because she is. And these are actually postcards. You can get packs of watercolor paper with postcard stuff on the back. So you can make your own postcards. This is a great idea. Do it. I am so excited. I stole these from my art room um, at high school because uh, he introduced them to us, the teacher. And I was just like, can I borrow a couple? And it's like such a good gift idea. It's so good. You don't have to be a good artist. You can do a collage. You can do use crayons. I use crayons all the fucking time. So watercolor postcards, do it. Also for Kate and Cat, I got this cute little blue cat brooch. She's the kind of girl who has like a lot of things in her fashion style. So I'm hoping this will go with something. I hope she'll like it. You know, I think it's spooky and cute and it's a cat and it kind of has her hairstyle. So that made me laugh because her name is Cat and it's a cat kind of with her hair. <laughs> and for Kate, I got this cute cherry necklace. Um, I know this is a really popular style, so I'm hoping she doesn't have like this exact same thing. Um, but even if she does, now she has an extra. I think it's really cute. Again, jewelry that is like mailable flat, wrapped up all cute. The necklace and brooch were also from Paper Cakes Pretty, um, along with the little polka dot bow bags because there's so much cute packaging at work, I just can't help myself. This isn't really like a specific gift for a specific person, but today I was sick and sad and gross, so I decided to make some cards um, with my cat. I just was huddled up in my blanket burrito, gross with no makeup, like drawing on my tablet. And then I was like, hey, add some baubles, add some tinsel. It's a damn Christmas card. I might put these up on my shop just 
because I want to do as many festive things as humanly possible this year apparently and those are all of my ideas for gifts i hope you guys enjoyed i had a lot of fun doing this i've been thinking about this ever since i realized i like half have my shit together this year and now i can wrap everything up and put it under the tree so that's good that's it for me you guys i hope you're having a great holiday season if you celebrate holidays i hope you're having a great season no matter what and I will see you guys next time. Look forward to more festive content. And I love you. And bye.